watch the full update video on our channel. Now, a special message from Kat. Yeah. Okay, so moving forward with everything, um, reactions will be exclusive on YouTube. Now, early access, you guys get, like, a lot more in advance on Patreon, and you also get them uncut, meaning uncut, basically, if you want to, like, an example, it is, like, the full reaction, like, not zoomed in or anything. Also, uncut means, like, there's certain extra things added to it that you won't be seeing um, on the channel, but it is still, like, in enough of uh, content for you guys. Um, over on on YouTube. So we just want to make that clear that every episode will be released on YouTube um, In a timely manner, but at the same time we also need to make sure That people are getting a ton more content on patreon because those are the people that do support all age geek and fun all age geek yada 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 So other than that everything will be released on YouTube <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to All Ages Geeks Patreon page and today I have to tell you guys what happened last week as to why Demon Slayer wasn't up. Well, <laughs> bad news. Basically what happened was there was a lot of construction going on and something happened to the recording. I don't know if it was because of the vibrations in the house and then the microphone was just acting up and then something was going on with Streamlabs when I was recording everything. Yeah, the footage for episode 23 is gone like it is it is deleted it wouldn't save like the record button i was pressing and pressing and pressing and it just would not save and i'm like not need the fa so what we're gonna do today is you guys are gonna get two episodes of demon slayer this week and i cannot believe it because we're basically almost done with demon slayer and i'm really upset because this series has been with us for like a few months now and i'm like damn <laughs> So, what's gonna happen after this, okay? Just to let you guys know, after next week, because we're doing two episodes this week, and then um, the final episode will be for next week, back on schedule with everything. Um, or I might just throw it, no, no, we'll keep it scheduled. But like, um, basically, I wanna know if you want me to do extra episodes of, let's say, like Steven Universe, or add a smaller anime, like something that has like 12 episodes. Um, that's like, oh, those are gems. Like Kids on a Slope, if you have not watched it, a gem of an anime. Like that that type of anime where there's like 12 episodes each um, and it could be done within like a few like a few months or so. Not like, or maybe for a few weeks I would say. Not even like a few months because it's like if we did like two a week, that's like six weeks right there. Um, so I'm wondering if you want to add on for more Steven Universe add on for one of the shonen, um, or start a brand new series that's really short and go from there because it's a perfect time for you guys to get voting. We could even start something like Stranger Things if you wanted to, because that's a series I am dying to get into and I've been saying we wanted to get into like live action and everything. So it's either like, we'll, we'll, we'll take the vote. It's like either start Stranger Things, start another anime that's really short, or we could just do more Steven Universe just to like get back on track. It would be like, two more episodes, so that'd be like four episodes a week of Steven. Um, but again, it's all up to you guys to vote, and obviously, majority wins when it comes to these polls, but I really want to get into Stranger Things, because I want that to be like the first, like, live action series that we do, like, do, because it'll be like based on season two, so, not season two, what am I saying, but like, if, if there are like eight episodes each or something, or ten, twelve, I don't even know. But no, like, we'll, we'll like figure it out because Game of Thrones is like something I want to get into. Walking Dead. But those are longer. Uh, Stranger Things only has, what, four seasons and they're shorter. Um, each episode is like an hour long. So that would be like an episode a week, I think, or 40 minutes. Yeah, so I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know. Let all of us know. And then we will get started on that. Hells to the yeah. Okay, but anyway, let's get started with Demon Slayer. Uh, to give my thoughts on what happened last time, I absolutely loved how with Nezuko, um, it showed her POV. We finally heard her voice. We finally heard her perspective. And it was beautiful. That got me in tears because we got to finally see her. And it's like, we like I, I was saying before, like, um to give it like a mini review of what you guys did miss in the reaction footage. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm that type of person where it's like, if I miss something or something technically happens, I add like a little extra thing for you guys. Um, so basically, how Zenetsu, Inosuke, like, they, all of them, okay, think of Nezuko, like, as Nezuko. Like, as we know, Inosuke did it at first, but now he's, like, fine with it. But, like, with um, Tanjiro and everyone, everyone, we see their point of view from Nezuko. But 
we never seen these guys. And it was really interesting because their whole life has been about destroying demons, killing and slaying demons left and right. So this is new to them, and we have to respect that. It's like, even though I was freaking out, like, this is my bean, nobody hurt my bean. At the same time, I really have to get into the point of view of them because they have never seen anything like this before. It's new to them, and some of them are not as open-minded as the other ones are. The Master is. Um, something also very, very intriguing about that episode was at the end. With the, with the whole, with the master and how he was saying that he's going to get Michael Jackson. You know, it was like, I, I just like, he, he wants to get that revenge, you know? And I'm thinking, people usually say that if they have a personal grudge, if something happened in that process, um, possibly like he maybe blinded him or did that to his face, um, maybe did something to his family. Um, this guy has to be master for a reason, but he has some kind of grudge against him. And people usually just normally don't say, oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you unless there's a reason. Um, also, we saw a little bit of character development for each of the characters, especially with Inosuke. That broke my heart when he was saying, I'm so sorry that I was weak. That broke me because something that I cannot stand with how the world gets sometimes is we sometimes feel so weak and we feel as if we have to apologize for it. Now, what describes weakness? That is up to you to decide, not society. And how he has been raised, it's like he really wasn't, and he's never had anything, in, like, in a sense, to have be able to fight someone who wasn't weaker than him. And in this moment, him saying, I have to get stronger, I have to get stronger, it's so relatable because it's like when we're at our lowest of lows, even us strongest, like more confident people can get like that. Oh, trust me, I get like that a lot. And, it, like, it's such a human thing to see that, and I'm glad this anime is focusing on that because, again, you have to keep in mind, they, they are teenagers, you know, they're not adults, and right now Inosuke is caught between learning about what caring about people is and learning also about that, hey, I'm not the strongest one in the pack anymore. So it is so relatable to see these types of things going on. But anyway, guys, uh, if you want more talk about this, uh, be sure to connect your Discord and Patreon. If you're having trouble, be sure to DM us and we will send you a direct link to it that will be customized for you. Um, this way, because I know Patreon has sometimes issues with giving you um, your access. So just let us know if you have not gotten access yet and we will totally set that up for you. Um, other than that, be sure to check out all the, the shows that are streaming on allagegeek.com. We have a bunch of podcasts for you guys, um, articles, and original series coming out. So uh, something else is uh, we have a community section being built, which is where it's going to be where you guys can chat with each other, share your art, share everything, and we can make videos based on that. Um, it's going to be basically a place where you guys can really hang out and everything. So we're, we're going to keep you posted on it. As patrons, you guys are going to be the testers for it. And if you want to see anything on the site, you just let us know. Because a lot of you guys have said something about that you want to be able to share your fan fiction. Um, and we're totally going to be working on that. So it just, again, just let us know what you would like to see. And we will totally deliver that for you. Because you guys make this possible for us. But also we want to get you involved with this. And really get your names on there as well. Like saying like these are the patrons who make All Age Geek possible. So there will be a section dedicated to you guys directly on the site. Um, but if there's anything that you want to... We have guest posts going on sometimes. So if you have a guest post and you are a writer and you want to write something. Feel free to send us, like, send us a message and say, hey, here's a post that I want on and we totally feature it for you guys but anyway let's get started because i know you're excited i'm excited and let's get mother flipping started oh sorry i was just transcribing some ancient mongolian tribal music that hasn't been heard by western ears for thousands of years as you can imagine it's a rather complex and laborious task if you'd like to be a wise and learned musician much like myself, then you should check out the Geek Jam Surgery. It's All Ages of Geek's brand new music deep dive podcast where I sit down with a group of professional musicians to pick apart all of your favourite tunes from geek culture. That's the Geek Jam Surgery, available now on Spotify and allagesofgeek.com. So, I'll see you over there. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to my task. Hmm. Yes. Like, how does he maintain that hairdo? Ooh. She's like, it seems difficult. 
<laughs> the headbutt kick. <laughs> hmm. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to say. No. Oh. Ah, oh, my boy. <laughs> oh my god, I shipped them. <laughs> Look at the look at look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Here you go! Yeah! Drink down. Is it good? <laughs> oh! I call favoritism! <laughs> Oh! Oh, yay! His fingers. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Finally, we got some downtime. Finally. Oh. Oh. Oh, stop, stop. What? Huh. Who is that person? Stop! Stop! Oh. My arms and legs are short. I ship it. They're, they're fighting like a married couple. I love it. <laughs> Look how sad he is. <laughs> oh. What? Okay. Oh. No. Oh shit. Who trained them? <laughs> the music. Oh, he. Oh. Uh. Oh. She's right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, oh my! No. He's like, mm. hmm. The next day. No. I don't want to go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, here we go. Hmm. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> he just passes out. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Playing tag. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> you low lives! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> His little arms! He knows! Yeah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
female kids before. <laughs> I can get as many girls as I want. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's enjoying this way too much. <laughs> he has what it takes. <laughs> He has to do it all day, like... He has to do it, like, 24-7. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? What just happened? <laughs> oh! Dude. Dude. Oh! Hmm. That sucks. Oh. Oh. This is so ah, oh, it's so impactful. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. Now who now? Unite the bridge. What? Oh. 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 
Ah, oh, so sad. Oh my god. Oh. And that must be so hard for them. Why you get? Why are you gonna do this to me? He's going to. Oh. Oh. What does she mean by that? Then? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, the silence. Oh my god, that was so... Yeah! Oh, that got to me. See, I'm telling you... All of them have like these backstories and like her dream is to one day that everyone can get along with the demons and everything. But you know how much that must be so hard on her because she lost her sister to a demon and I liked how they brought up the whole like you have to see this from different perspective side because that is so true with everything. You have to see both perspectives in life because you'll never learn to be open minded but you'll never learn how to get along with anybody if you don't. Um, oh, that just got me. That was so emotional. That was so raw. He's like, oh, why do you, 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 why are you angry? And she's like, I feel like she never got to talk about this before. And finally she's able to now. So she was like kind of shocked that he mentioned. That's why I love Tanjiro because he like sees the best in everybody. But even sees like their flaws but doesn't judge them for that. This was a great episode because the Nets. Oh my god, I swear. It's like you gotta spend five minutes with him. I love him so much. And he's like, You lie! You should have done apologize to me! <laughs> he's so funny. But no, it's just, it's. they ha This is a mix of like, they, thank God they had their moments of like the funny, the comedy, and then there's the drama there. Um, Tanjiro has a lot to work on. Like, he's a lot to work on, which I'm glad to see because you don't want to make your protagonist per perfect. You know, this makes him more human and humble that he's even admitting that he has to learn to actually, like, work on a few things. So, oh, man, one day he'll be able to beat her, but at the same time, um, like, I'm curious as to why he was saying, oh, her eyes are different. Like, what does that mean? But I'm glad no one's going to be, like, raising a hand to... Oh my god, oh my god, excuse me. I don't know why people, um, I'm glad that they're not gonna raise a hand to Nezuko, but I don't even know why they would think, but obviously now that we're seeing a different perspective as to, like, why they're gonna be, like, acting the way they are, I'm glad that this show is showing both perspectives, because it's just like, you know, to give you an example, Tokyo Ghoul, we saw the sides of the ghouls, and we saw the sides of the humans, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it was like, 
I didn't like the ending of Re, Tokyo Ghoul Re. I did not like the ending, but like how it was like towards the middle of Re, Tokyo Ghoul Re, um, to unite everybody in a sense, like how they were planning on doing that. Um, it's like, it was a great way to see how it like acted out. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. So I want you guys to like see it yourself. If you haven't watched it, be sure to watch Tokyo Ghoul, but I don't say watch it, read the manga because the studio kind of messed up the animation and kind of screwed with it. Oh, I miss Tokyo Ghoul. I'd love to do a rewatch of that too. But anyway, guys, I would love to know your thoughts on this episode of Demon Slayer. It was a great one. It was funny. It was just filled with drama, but the animation is just getting better and better. I don't know how this is going to wrap up in two episodes, but we're going to have to sit and see. Um, and watch and see. Why did I just say sit and see? And also, the movie is coming out, so we're definitely going to be watching that together as well. Um, I don't know if they're going to have a season two, or the movie's going to be first and then lead into season two. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your thoughts on it. Oh, but anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Stay weird, just I want to like that awesome deluxe video. I'm raising a fan girl, a new fan boy, a new fan person, a new fan demon. Ooh, every single day. Shit, the sex and names good people you. Yeah. Thanks for